Oh, well, hello there. <laughs> it's your favorite alien. The reason why I have a shower cap on today is because I'm stupid and I forgot to film my intro before I did my hair. So today I'm going to be dyeing my hair and I'm going to be getting 24 inch extensions, which is pretty much the longest extensions you can get at one of the most insane like celebrity hair places in LA. Megan Fox goes there, Taylor Swift goes there, Selena Gomez goes there, Madison Beer goes there. Like literally the list goes on. So I was like, I want to go there. So we're going to be going through the whole process of what it's like to have this long of hair. It's a lot, definitely, to say the least. And it's really expensive. I spent um, $3,000. Anyways, yes. Let's get into the video. First step, I'm gonna be calling 901 and see if I can get like a consultation because I really wanna go over exactly what I wanna do with my hair because getting gray hair is like the hardest thing to do and I feel like they would be able to accomplish it but I still wanna talk to them in person and make sure. So I'm gonna give them a quick call. 901 Salon, this is Sydney, how can I help you? Hi Sydney, I was wondering if I could potentially book a consultation? Yeah, absolutely. Who will the consultation be with? This will be with Joey. Joey, okay. Um, we have the consultation. Oh my God. Ah, I'm excited. Wait, you know what? I'm gonna be creepy. I'm gonna look up Joey's Instagram because I'm curious on what work he has done. Ooh, ooh, okay, this is nice hair. I don't feel like he's done like an icy color. Like all these are very warm toned, but they look so good. Like this, but with like gray is what I'm looking for. So I feel like he will definitely be able to do it. It is now the next day. Today is the consultation and I'm excited to meet Joey and um, go over what we're gonna do with my hair. So yes, um, let's grab my phone. Oh, and my car keys and get going. We are here right now. Joey is gonna explain exactly why we cannot do the icy gray silver. He's super honest, he knows what's up. Super honest. Yes, your that's hair what matters. Been too far processed. Um, and then you went dark and you're a little spotty. Basically, your hair is too compromised to add any layer to it at this point in time. So, yeah. we're thinking of something else. He, what do you exactly say? I said, well, we should thinking. definitely tone you down a little darker, closer to your natural, and then we'll um, do a crystal cashmere treatment on you to kind of help restore the hair. And then over time, start using a little flexible. Sweet, and then we're also thinking of doing some pretty long extensions. I want like long, long, cause like I can't change the color. So like we'll change the length up. So like something kind of like like in yeah. that range, like like 24 inch hair. Yeah, like 24 down inch hair waist. down to my waist. Exactly. I know this is not exactly what I wanted to do, but I'm so excited to just like get my hair a refresh, and it's gonna be so long, like really long, like Ariana Grande like ponytail long. What number is this again? This two. is this Color is two. two. I love it. It's like a nice like ashy like dark dark brown, and like compared to the color that my hair is right now, especially at the ends. So, my hair is fried and I didn't realize how bad it was. He was like, yeah, like, no, like, your hair will melt off if we bleach it. So, kind of sad about that. But, um, something also that I'm a little sad about is to get three lines of extensions that are 24 inches is a thousand a piece. So, that would be three thousand dollars. But the extensions do last four to six months. So that's a long time. So yeah, I'm kind of debating. I'm gonna think a little bit on exactly what I wanna do to my hair because I definitely am doing something. But yeah, we gotta figure it out, to say the least, because that's a lot of money, like a lot. Okay, so I have done some thinking. It's been about two days. My videos are always like testing things. I transformed into Kylie Jenner, or I like lived like her for a day. I did a Billie Eilish video. I spent a lot of money on both of those videos, and you guys really enjoyed it, because I feel like it's interesting. Like, I'm curious. So, I think I'm gonna do it. I don't want anyone saying that like I'm a spoiled brat or like that I am having my parents pay for this I'm gonna pay for this like I am so I'm gonna get the extensions And we're just gonna really see what it's like to style this because I am scared because it's gonna be so heavy And I'm gonna have to deal with it for five months. Hopefully. I really like it I think I will because I really do want long hair again <sighs> but I'm scared. Oh my god, this is gonna be insane. Ah, and it's gonna take six hours. Like he told me, yeah, like it's gonna take us six hours to do this. It is the day of dyeing, trimming, and doing the treatment. So this is what my hair looks like before. We have like the orangish bottom, 
The roots aren't too bad, but still, it's gonna look a lot better. And then on Thursday, I'm gonna be doing the extensions. Here we go, it is time. What are we doing first right now? First, we're gonna do a shampoo, then a conditioning treatment. Okay. We're gonna do a uh, crystal cashmere. Okay. And then we're gonna start toning you down. Amazing. Your natural. What's crystal cashmere? Is it like? It's like a conditioning treatment okay. that seals down the cuticle, restores the hair. Ooh, that's what I need. Yeah. Second step is color. We're doing color right now. Okay, so he's going to mix the color for the ends of my hair because it's such a different color right now. Then we're gonna cut it after, and then in a day and a half, we're gonna do the extensions, which is the best part. We're gonna wait 10 minutes for this to develop. Once he rinses out this dye, then he'll put the crystal uh, cashmere treatment to make it super soft. My hair is so smooth. It's smooth like and silky. So smooth. Like I can actually run my fingers through my hair without yeah. it like snagging. And I really like the color. It's like a nice, like, cool tone, just like brown. We'll yeah. see it, yeah. We'll yeah. see it when it's dry, too. We are done with the color. We, oh my gosh, look how silky it looks. Like, you can really see the tone. So, this is like my roots all the way down. It is like brand new hair. It really is. So, we're gonna come back in two days and we're gonna put the 24 inch extensions in, which is gonna be intense. I'm excited. Are you excited, yeah. Joey? <laughs> Okay. Oh, I can't wait. I can't either. Here's my hair. Let's see it in the sun. But look how shiny and healthy it is. It looks so good and it's so even. I love. It looks so good. I'm back home. It's been a few hours. I'm really loving my hair. I feel like it's just like the perfect color. It is my last night with my short-ish hair. It goes down to about here. And the extensions will be going down about here. So it's gonna be like almost double my hair length. This is what my bun looks like. It's very like easy to move. It's like, it's not heavy at all. I know it's gonna be heavy tomorrow and I feel like I'm gonna probably get a headache. But anyways, yes, this is what my bun looks like. Ooh, ooh, with no extensions. So let's get a good rest and get the extensions in. Okay, we're here. My last few minutes with my not short hair, but shorter hair. We're starting, we're gonna wash. But look at this strand of hair. It goes all the way, wow. That is insane. Look how crazy long that is. That's as long as your arm, Joey. It is. We're shampooing the hair right now. He's just letting the shampoo sit. And then um, he's gonna blow dry it, trim it a little bit, and then we're gonna go in with the extensions. This is the before. We're gonna go put the extensions in. This is three sections of hair. This isn't the whole bundle. And it's soft. It's really soft. Do you take off the plastic things or do they like. It's a, a keratin tip bond. Okay, so that's what bonds it. Okay. We got a good little section going right here. Look at that. Ooh. Insane. And it looks so healthy too. It's so shiny. Now we're currently parting the last section of hair. Then we'll be done. Right now, we have all three layers of the 24 inch. Now, we're gonna do like no, a square oval. Off. Exactly, so it's not straight across at the bottom, so it looks more natural. And then we're also gonna add like little layers, right? Right. Little the layers bottom. to the end, yeah. to the bottom of my hair, so that it's not as like straight. It looks more like natural and like it, it grew like Blend. that. Literal Hair luxurious. Heaven. Oh my god, it looks amazing. Even like not styled, it looks great. Joey is a god. Wow. I'm curling the hair now. I'm watching so that I know how to curl my hair. So gorgeous. Okay, so I'm now back home. So far, no weird pains. 
I feel like when I'm sleeping though, it's gonna feel a lot weirder. But right now, I'm gonna go to the Hype House. It's like a TikTok house. I don't know if you've heard of it. I'm gonna go there right now. So I'm gonna get Kyla's opinion and Indiana's opinion and maybe a few others. I don't know. I might not vlog in there because I get really uncomfortable sometimes like like vlogging. But I wanted to show you the hair and get opinions on it so then we really know what's the tea on it. And then I'm gonna wash it soon and I'm also gonna figure out how I'm gonna sleep with it. And I need to also brush it because they said like literally brush your hair as much as you can because the, the if they get tangled like your hair could fall out. So um don't want that to happen. So anyways, I need to go. So I'm gonna go right now. We're right outside the Hype House right now. Kyla, what do you think of my hair? It looks so bomb, you guys. Like, I, if you could see it in person, it's like, <laughs> I can like hit people with it. Dude, no, ready? I can like hit you with it, like. With it. <laughs> it's, it's 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Okay, we're gonna go to the Hype House. Bye. You can hear them, okay, <laughs> bye. I'm Yo. with Brayton. Hi. 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 Guys, her new hair fits her so perfect. Do you like I it? I love it so much. It fits you really, really good. It's so aesthetically Ooh. pleasing to me. Thank you, Brayton. It's so satisfying. Like, you look so good. Thank you, Brayton. I love you. I love you. <laughs> I'm back home from hanging out with everyone. This is what my hair is looking like right now. Honestly, I realized the curl didn't really stay right now i'm gonna go through the bag that they gave me they gave me a brush and they said to brush my hair from like the ends and like hold my hair like ends brush then this section brush then this section brush then like the very top part and super light on this area of my head because that is where the extensions are and we don't want to like rip them out and then they said to sleep with it in a like a one braid this is the 901 bag we have the dry shampoo that I did buy. It's Mr. Smith. It's supposed to be a really good shampoo or dry shampoo because they don't want me to shampoo my hair too much because that can create like the hair to fall out. And then this leave-in conditioner. So when I get out of the shower, when I brush it, I spray this in like 20 times, he said. And then this is the complimentary brush. After spending a crazy amount of money, we get a free brush. So how cool. So pretty much how they instructed me to do it is split my hair in half, then hold the bottom of my hair and just kind of brush. I think I'm gonna spray a tiny bit of this dry shampoo because my hair already is oily. So there we have the first braid. It's so incredibly long. I don't like sleeping in braids because like I feel like they're like you can feel them when you're sleeping. But if it keeps it from not snarling, I will do it. We have the braids in. The dry shampoo also works wonders. Like it was oily here and now it's not. But my head has been a little itchy. It's been like tender a little bit all day. But like mainly just because I want to itch it because I can feel that there's something in my hair but I'll get used to it. I'm gonna sleep on these braids and I will talk to you tomato. Okay, so it is now the morning. I slept in the braids. Actually, in the middle of the night, one of the hair ties came undone. This one did, so I had to redo it. I think because this hair is so smooth and silky, like the hair ties slip. But anyways, I'm gonna undo them right now. Wow, it is actually really tangle free. I'm just kind of like brushing through a tiny bit, the ends, because they got a little tangled in the top. There we go. Honestly, it wasn't too bad to sleep in. The little bead things are the things that kind of hurt the most because that's like what's, you know, holding all this hair so it is heavy. But still, it's not, not too bad at all. Now, I am very curious to see if this is real hair because I did just spend $3,000 on the hair Therefore, if it isn't real, I'm going to be so mad. So, I looked up exactly how to tell if hair is real or fake, and it's the way it burns. So I'm not gonna like burn my hair off, but I'm gonna cut like an individual strand of the extensions and an individual strand of my actual hair and see how it burns. When it curls into a ball, it's real hair, and if it burns really slow, that means it's fake hair. So this is my real hair, this is the extension hair. My hair looks so much thicker, as you can see. This looks thinner. I'm gonna first light the not the fake hair, but the extension hair. Hopefully not fake hair. Oh! Oh, oh my boy. god. Okay, I think we got some real hair. It smells like burnt hair in our house now. But out of this curiosity, let's burn my actual hair and see what happens. 
Oh, my real hair is fake? <laughs> Well, 100% that was definitely real hair. My extensions are real hair. I'm so happy. So it is later in the night. I have my hair in like a low, low ponytail. I am going to a masquerade party for my friend Sonny's 16th birthday. I want to take a shower, but I'm not going to wash my hair because I know it's going to take a really long time to dry and style, and I already have to style it. So right now I'm going to put my hair in a bun, and I wanted to film the process of this and what the bun looks like because like some Something tells me this is gonna look funny as heck because like I have so much hair right now oh my god oh my god this bun is gonna be huge oh it kind of hurts to put your hair up because it's like pulling the extensions a little bit look how huge the bun is that is one hell of a bun okay I'm gonna go hop in the shower and I'll be right out I might crimp it, which is going to be such a process, but I'm going to crimp it. I'm going to plug in my crimper real quick. I'm going to let that heat up, and then we're going to start crimping my hair and my extensions. I'm going to turn my timer on right now, so we're going to see how long it takes to crimp my entire head with this little mother fricker. Pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a section by section and just hold it down and then just work my way all the way to the bottom. So I have to hold it for like 10 seconds on each section, which is such a pain, but we got this. This is what my whole head's gonna look like. I literally am in love with crimping my hair. I don't do it very often because it's so time consuming, but I'm gonna do it. I'll be back. My timer is going. It's been going for an, a minute and a half. I just did this whole side right here in 10 minutes. That's impressive. Honestly, I'm proud. I'm very proud. I think I'm rushing too, so that could be part of it. But it looks so good and it's still so long. Like, look, it's like barely any shorter than the side that's like straight pretty much. I'm gonna do it on this side and I'll be back. It took 23 minutes to crimp my hair. This is what it's looking like. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip my head upside down and kinda just shake it out because it's a little intense right now and usually I let it sit for a while. Hope, ow, oh my God, I just like ripped my extensions. Oh, that hurt. I kind of look like George Washington. Like, you know like how they have their wigs that like are like that? I might do a few more pieces, uh, but I will, I will keep you posted. But this is what it looks like. It's super, super long, super crimped. It's looking fly. So I'm pretty much ready for the masquerade. This is my dress. It's just a black dress with pearls right here. I literally think the hair fits so perfectly. I'm hyped. I love the way that long hair looks crimped. The extensions popped off. Okay, so I'm back home. The weave did amazing tonight. I got so many compliments on my hair and my hairstyle. Here's a few pictures from the night. I really like it. It looks it looks so good. I'm actually so happy with my hair. Brighton keeps saying it's like an aesthetic and it makes me very happy. So day one, or like full day one, success. It has officially been three days since I've washed my hair. I put this like treatment in the top of my hair because I have a really like dry scalp. So that's why it looks insanely oily. I have my hair in like a really low ponytail right now. But now I'm going to shower and wash my hair. I'm a little scared to wash my hair because I have really long nails. And I also have these like little beads in my head that are holding the extensions in. You can kind of see where it's sectioned off, but you can't really see the bead itself. I'm a little scared that they're gonna get caught or I'm gonna like accidentally like rip one out. So I'm gonna kind of bring you through the process of washing this long of hair. My hair is insanely long, of course, it wouldn't shrink. They said that the extensions would dry kind of wavy, like if you don't like straighten it or like blow dry it out, like they would dry wavy, which is perfect because that's what my hair normally dries. I used so much conditioner in the shower, like I swear, I'm gonna use so much shampoo and conditioner with this hair, especially conditioner. That is it, brushed out right out of the shower. Super, super long. How insane is that? I had to step back so much for it all to be in the shot. Now I'm just gonna spray the bottom of my hair with this detangler. Oh, I should have done that before I brushed it out. That would have been smart. Okay, so I just blow dried the top of my hair for a bit. It's pretty dry now. It looks really good. The extensions are still completely wet, but I'm gonna go to bed. I will show you what it looks like tomorrow.
Good morning. This is what my hair looks like air dried. As you can see, the extensions did dry like naturally wavy, which I think is like the perfect match for my hair because that's kind of what my natural hair dries also. I just slept with it. Like I laid down on this pillow and I let my hair like lay out the other way because I didn't want to like knot my hair up, but I didn't want to sleep with it in braids because then it would leave it really curly. I will keep you posted. I'm going to do like a style today on my hair. So yes, I'm going to fall asleep. Oh my God. Oh, why'd I lay back down? What's up? So I'm now ready. This is what my hair is looking like. It's still very clean and, um, snarl-ish free it gets snarled really easily but that's just normal with long hair like no matter what like even if it's extensions or natural hair like your hair just gets tangled because there's so much of it um, but a few things i wanted to do is try a headband because i feel like a headband could look really cool with long hair and then i'm also going to try putting my hair all the way up in a ponytail and seeing how bad that hurts and like what it looks like whoa oh oh okay wait it's not even that long though why does it look like it's all the same length it's interesting because joey cut layers in the extensions and it kind of looks like all of it is one length right now which is interesting it's super heavy it doesn't look bad though like it looks good next up i want to wear a headband because i feel like it will look so cool wait i kind of love this why does this give me like blair waldorf vibes oh my god i can like feels so good to not have my hair in my face. So yes, that's what my hair looks like with a ponytail and a headband. Okay, so it is now the end of the video pretty much. A few things I want to talk about. Number one, the price of these extensions. Mine were insanely expensive. Number one, because I got them done at a super like bougie salon that a lot of celebrities go to so they can afford it. And same with that they are really good extensions and they come from a good place, not the black market. And they are real, real hair. Like we really tested that with burning the hair. So that is a big downside. Same with um, the feeling of them, like being in my hair, like they're the little like beady like sections of hair that is like on my actual hair like what attaches it feels kind of weird but for the most part there's not many downsides like my head hasn't been hurting like my hair looks really really good and um honestly i'm very impressed i can't lie i i'm very happy with my hair i feel like a very like unattractive madison beer you know what i mean like the hair is madison beer vibes but yeah this is the final product this is what my hair looks like very very happy with the outcome i hope you enjoyed watching the process of me dyeing my hair and getting 24 inch extensions at a celebrity hair salon i hope this helped you out if you want to get extensions and i love you so 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 much you mean the world to me stay healthy i love you bye <laughs>